Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. Today we are doing an at home, no equipment, thick thigh workout. Yes, we are about to get it, get it burning. This is such a highly requested video and I'm so glad I finally got around to film this for you guys. You don't have to worry about a thing. All you need is your booty, your thighs, and 10 minutes. I will guide you through the whole workout. So we are going to be doing a number of different exercises that I love for building toned, strong thighs with a little bit of, little bit of curve, a little bit of shape. I will talk you through each exercise, show you how to do it with the right technique, because technique is everything. You need good form in order to get the results that you want. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it, really. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how you find this workout. Click subscribe for more videos so that you never miss a trick. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Come be my internet friend. Ready? Let's go. Let's do this. So the first exercise that we'll be doing are step up squats. As you can see me giving you an example on the left. So I want you to put your hands above your head. Ready and go. Uh, come to a squatting position, alternating each lead leg, aka the leg that gets up first as you go. So first time do the left leg first and then next time do the right leg first. Make sure you stay nice and low. We don't want our hips to raise up too much higher than when we are in the kneeling position. Uh, really keep the core tight. This really does require a lot of control. Do it nice and slow and steady. Control the movement. Feeling that burn in the quads. Shoulders nice and low. Arms pressed back and relax for 10 seconds. The second exercise we'll be doing are side to side lunges. These are a great burner, ready and go. So keeping the feet nice and uh, wide apart, we are going to really increase that mobility in the hips as well, but while we feel the burn in the glutes and the thighs. So I want you to alternate your weight from foot to foot, keeping the heels pressed in to the floor, feet facing forward, uh, really engaging the glutes as you come back up. I love the burn that you can feel. Try not to lean too far forward, uh, keep your chest nice and lifted, a few more, well done, and relax for 10 seconds. And the third exercise we'll be doing are good old trusty squats. So I'm going to be doing them with a wide foot stance and go. So feet uh, around shoulder width apart, uh, feet turned outwards. I want you to squat down nice and low, keeping the core engaged. So I don't want an arch in your back. Arching your back is not going to build a booty. It's going to do the opposite. It's going to just give you back pain. <laughs> so make sure you keep your core nice and tight, squeezing the glutes as you come up. You see me holding my pelvic tilt there making sure that my core is engaged, squeezing the glutes as you come up, really feeling that burn in the thighs, pressing through the heels and relax for 10 seconds. Well done, doing really well. And the next size exercise that we'll be doing will be low squats. So we're gonna intensify that burn, ready and go. So I don't want you to come up any further than your knees really. So we're keeping that uh, that low movement, that low range of movement. Keep the chest nice and lifted. Again, really engaging the glutes as you come up, but using the quads to keep yourself steady. Weight through the heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. Chest nice and lifted. Focus on getting that burn on that small pulsing movement. Staying balanced and controlled. A few more and relax. And the fourth exercise that we'll be doing, I think, I can't remember, I lost count, I'm so sorry. Are these lunge jumps, ready, go. Keep these nice and explosive, but slow enough so that you can stay balanced. These are a burner, I can't tell you how much they burn. So you want to come into a lunging position and jump off of the leg in front, driving with the arms, get as much height as you can, but bearing in mind that this is essentially a single leg squat jump, using your other leg to kind of balance and land, cushion that landing. It is extremely powerful using those fast twitch fibers to be as explosive as possible getting that muscle mass in those thighs well done shake it off shake it off shake it off sorry i really shouldn't sing uh rest for 10 seconds a few more seconds and we're going in on the opposite leg and go keeping the core nice and tight never forget your form okay we're coming nice and low we are exploding up pushing through the heels, using that front leg to really give us as much height as we can, coming down, landing softly on the foot, really cushioning that landing uh, through the heels, bending the knee, 
driving with the arms you're doing really well just a few more keep it explosive you're feeling that burn and that's good that's what we want that's what you're doing this for and relax now we are going to have 50 seconds rest then we're going to do that all again See that good thumbs up there so as you know what I love to do during my rest breaks uh, is to do some stretches so I'm just playing with the timer there um, I'm not gonna lie it was supposed to be 30 seconds rest and then it went a bit wrong so congrats here's an extra 20 seconds <laughs> I messed up the timer and um, but you can just do some stretches wherever it's feeling a little bit tight I usually just love to stretch out my lower back and just feel you know feel alive <laughs> Um, but whatever you're feeling, just listen to it. Listen to your body. As lame and confusing as that sounds, I always remember thinking like, my body ain't saying nothing, hun. Tell me what to do. But genuinely, listen to your body. Wherever's tight, just give that a little stretch for a while, but not too long. So we are going back in with the first exercise. Ready and go. Step up squats, keeping that core tight. Arms pressed by the ears, press back, don't let them come too far forward. Chest nice and high, feeling that burn as you lead with opposite legs. Keeping it nice and controlled. You don't want to rush this. I don't want you just falling all over the floor, okay? Keep this nice and controlled. Stay nice and low. Don't stand up too high, which is the challenge in this, to keep your hips nice and low. And relax for 10 seconds. Then we're moving on to the next exercise. Catch your breath a little bit. We're going into side to side lunges and go. So feet nice and wide apart. You're like a little ninja going from side to side. Yes, feel that burn. Do you feel that burn? Do you feel it? If not, create it. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs. Really keep that movement controlled. Pressing through the heels, you should be able to wiggle your toes. I don't want your weights falling forward. You want to be kind to your knees, okay? Weight through your heels, wiggle your toes always. Well, almost always, at least on this exercise anyway. Um, so keeping that good form side to side and relax. Rest for 10 seconds. Shake it off. Think about the absolute glute goals that you're going to be. Um, and we're going in with these squats. I'm doing them Quite, with quite a wide stance you can choose uh, what you prefer uh, squatting nice and low keeping the knees over the feet so your knees should be pointing the same way as your feet don't let them fall in don't let them fall too far out also remember to sit back when you squat okay don't let your knees come too far forward in front of your toes pushing through the heels really engaging the muscles as you come up don't do this passively engage those muscles squeeze them push those hips, hips up as though you're thrusting and relax 10 seconds then we're going back in with the low squats i'm feeling it you guys i'm here with you and i and i feel it i know and go keeping those squats nice and low that good old pulse we're getting that burn in only 30 seconds you can do it weight through the heels wiggle your toes squeeze the glutes as much as you can feel that burn in the quads Hold your core for stability, arms out in front, chest nice and high, shoulders relaxed and down. You're building those, those legs, you're absolutely doing it, you're smashing it. A few more and, oh, almost missed it there myself, and relax. Well done. Well done. Can you feel the burn? Because we are coming in with the uh, split lunge jumps and go. So keeping that balance in that front leg, I know it feels like jelly, but I know that you can do it. Push through, you can slow down, but try not to stop. As you explosively jump up through that lead leg, using the power of your thighs to get you up. Explosive movements are great for your thighs. Drive with the arms, you will really build some muscle. You will uh, really tone and shape those legs. And relax. And now this is the last exercise. So the split lunge jump on the opposite leg. And go, really drive that front knee forward. I know you're tired, but try and keep that form. Using the arms, staying nice and stable, landing weight through the heels. Keep that core tight, shoulders nice and low. Yes, you're a bit breathless. Yes, you feel a little burn, but it is the last 10 seconds of this thick thigh workout. You can do it. Just a few more, be as explosive as you can. Jumping up and relax. Well done, you guys. 
<laughs> please tell me I'm not the only one who's actually like collapsing on the floor but you did so well thank you so much don't forget to leave me a comment let me know how you found it I love you guys crazy amounts and I will see you in my next video bye I love you <laughs>